As you know, we uh, have been fighting the port around several things. One, around employment and jobs for Newark residents. We've also been fighting them around making sure we get our financial due from the land that we own at the port. But we're here today to talk about another critical issue, which is the environmental injustice that goes on in our city because of uh, the issues that take place at the port, particularly around truck emissions and shipping uh, as well. Uh, there is technology that exists that would allow us to get low to near zero emissions uh, uh, coming out of that port. Uh, they have, the Port Authority has the ability and obviously the finances to help uh, these kind of low-wage truck drivers and other businesses to begin to come in compliance uh, with the low emissions or zero emissions here uh, in the city, with the city of Newark. As you heard earlier, they banned, they stopped uh, their push towards uh, making sure that that actually takes place. Uh, we, we are here to say that we are opposed to that and that they should begin to go forward to make that continue to happen. There are uh, many, many kids in the city of Newark uh, and adults, for that matter, have serious upper respiratory illnesses, have asthma related to diesel and other kind of uh, uh, things as uh, because of the air and the, and the, the poor quality of the air because they live next to uh, the port. Uh, we have a obligation, a moral obligation and a duty as a city to make sure that we protect our families and our children, not just in the area next to the port, but around the city uh, as a whole. So we, we are asking the port, in fact, we're demanding that the port not only help us to make sure we make the city whole financially, provide jobs for the, for the community, but also to make sure that we clean the air in this community by making sure that there's zero emissions coming from that port authority through the trucks and, and the ships that, that usually don't get mentioned in all of this, but the shipping as well. There's some things that the city is going to do immediately uh, uh, thanks to uh, the kind of advice from the Healthy Ports Commission, which is trying to create uh, uh, opportunities for trucks to move in other directions outside of coming through our community. We're going to try to enforce those laws down uh, in the East Ward that will force the trucks not to go into neighborhoods and go around neighborhoods to begin to move goods and services from the port to other areas. But that's not the answer. The answer is that the Port Authority has to ban those trucks and make sure that the emissions are, are, are low. We also have to engage our state legislature and the governor of this state before he goes off and runs for office somewhere. We, we, we have to get them together to establish a statewide ordinance that bans those kinds of trucks that forces the Port Authority to have zero, low to zero emissions. The, the legislature has the ability and the authority to do that, to force the, the shipping industry, to force the trucking industry, to force the Port Authority to come into compliance with zero emissions like it has been done in other states around the country. We're asking that that happens immediately uh, and we're demanding that the Port uh, do better at good jobs and clean air. Thank you.